For a three-stroke caning one might get one across the thighs, maybe two during a sixer, but it would be random so one could only anticipate. Perhaps this was gauged by the boy's reaction, as it was seldom, or not, to my knowledge, the first stroke. Some canings did not contain any thigh strokes, but there was enough evidence in the changing room to suggest that this was by design and not just inaccuracy. A cleverly executed angled stroke, so that the tip wraps and bites the upper leg induces an eye-watering pain.